subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying i subscribe to this month's shout out giveaway hey guys what's up welcome back to film team 90 day fiance is a show with many controversies there are couples that marry each other for their personal gains or out of love there are claims that the whole show might be fake and there are couples who have cheated on one another overall the show is a circus with much to go on let's check out a few couples from 90 day fiance that weren't so faithful in the end number one colt and larissa colt and larissa seemed amazingly happy together on the show but we all know that looks can be deceiving it seems that their love wasn't quite forever, and Cole, for his part, seems to be a bit of a dirtbag deep down inside. Fans of the show were treated to a morose Larissa not too long after her season of 90 Day Fiance ended, as she went on social media and made breakdown to cry about what a bad rap she got. She even had screenshots of the conversations she had seen between Cole and another girl. That means she probably snuck around and searched through his phone without knowledge. Number two, John and Rachel. When you're having massive arguments and calling your significant other out for cheating while you're still on the 90 Day Fiance TV show, then you're probably not going to end up making it long term. Rachel, much like Larissa, ended up coming to the realization that John wasn't being totally honest with her when he noticed some damning text between himself and some random woman on his phone. These guys need to be a little less overt if they're going to get anywhere in life, but we're sure that these men would have probably dropped the ball in other areas anyways. They're stupid enough to cheat and don't do anything to avoid getting caught, so we say they deserve everything they get, especially when they get berated to the point of looking more like naughty children than fully grown adults. The two ended up breaking up over these issues before the show even aired. I just feel like the word love should never be thrown okay. to an ex-girlfriend. Okay. And she even ended up moving back to the UK. The two spent a lot of time separated, but it seems they weren't even able to find anyone else willing to put up with her nonsense because they ended up trying to rekindle the relationship and get back on the right track. Number three, Ashley and Jay. Jay managed to pull it off with flying colors, leading to an amazingly abrupt end to his marriage. He then hopped on his social media to whine about what a bad rap he got and managed to convince Ashley to consider taking him back. The number of times these couples break up and then get back together is ridiculous and really difficult to keep track of. We can't believe that people treat marriage so willy nilly. And just happy to jump in and out like it's a damn bouncy castle. We're also going on record here to say that if you catch your partner cheating, then they had their chance and blew it. There's no time for take backs. And anyone who does pull that trigger should consider their choice carefully if someone's already cheated once and did so early on in their relationship, then there's every chance they'll do it again. But Jay doesn't seem like that kind of person to recant or even understand what he did was wrong. That kind of person is trouble right from the get-go. Not been easy for you. <sighs> Number four, Danielle and Mohammed. These two met online and ended up hooking up shortly after. It seems that Danielle was much more committed to the relationship than Mohammed. It looks to us like he was only in it for a good screen card, and he really took her along for the ride that Jack had promised her the world, even when they got hitched. But it wasn't long after their big day that he got up and walked out on her for another woman, no less. Danielle was rightfully pissed and went to work trying to make her ex pay. She even spent a lot of time and energy trying to get him deported. You can take this too, so you know how serious this is. But red tape got in the way, she had a rough go. But we're not sure that having the guy deported is the right way to go anyways. Number five, Molly and Luis. Oh my gosh. Love, baby. You are? Mm -hmm. How much? It's so much. <laughs> It looked like Molly and Luis were bound to find true love together when their season ended, but new developments have proven that they were all wrong to assume they were safe. The two announced that they were heading towards a mutual divorce and revealed that they just didn't do it for each other anymore. There are plenty of rumors that suggest their parting was due to Luis's cheating, but he continues to deny it, and Molly is fairly tight-lipped about the whole sordid affair. We think that he probably was cheating on her, and she just didn't want to drag her name through the dirt anymore than she has, to which is a pretty good call to make considering the spectacle that many of these couples have made out of themselves. We're sure that Luis was cheating because of the fact that he ended up getting married only a few months after they broke up. That suggests he had been with a new woman for quite some time. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.